<laughs> right, I think it'd be sacrilegious to do a presentation on growth and decay without mentioning radioactive decay. Uh, some sort of bacteria, rabbits, and the rabbit muffins that they get up to with the bunnies that they make. <laughs> and a tasty approach to growth and decay. I Let's not go with radioactive rabbits today. But in fact, cancer cells that are relatively colourful and tasty, you will need plates, cups, and uh, lots and lots of M&Ms, and a worksheet that will be made available to you via Judy or Eddie at some point. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, with a class of 18, I ended up going through two party buckets. <laughs> so it can be quite a costly exercise, but you can certainly get one of those little tiny individual packets uh, for each student. Just make sure you don't go with the fun size ones because there's not enough M&Ms for this exercise. <laughs> Um, I find it works best with just the regular M&Ms because they are a little bit flatter, they do sit on one side, whereas your little crispies and your, peach, uh, your peanut M&Ms, they roll around and you don't get the M showing very clearly. Um, if they are allergic to chocolate, Skittles work as well, so you can use that. Exponential growth. So you start by placing two M&Ms in the cup and you shake the cup and you pour the M&Ms onto a plate. You make note of every uh, M&M that's showing an M and you add an M&M to your plate. Mm -hmm. Uh, if there are no M&Ms showing, put the M&Ms back to the cup and try again, just so that there is some sort of growth there. I know I'm fudging a little here. Um, the worksheet will guide you through these steps fairly clearly. You record the numbers, uh, number of M&Ms on the plate, fill up the table or until you run out of M&Ms, obviously, um, and you repeat. So some action shots there. Kids doing the exercise in year 12. Um, I've actually noticed this graph is wrong, so he decided to start the graph at the origin, which that shouldn't have happened, so I had to go back and fix that, but I didn't grab a photo of it, so that's the best I got there. I'm a little bit old school, so I'd like to do the equation by hand. You've recorded the number of M&Ms on the plate at the top table there. Essentially, I'm using the compound interest formula, working out percentage increase, averaging it all out, and working out this equation here, 2 e to the power of 0.39t, just by hand. But of course, you can put the data into Excel, get yourself a scatter plot, add yourself a curve of best, oh sorry, a line of best fit that's curved. Um, make sh making sure you select the uh, exponential line of best fit, setting your intercept to two, because you started with two elements at the And when you display the equation on the chart, you can see there, two e power of 0.3812x. That's really not that bad compared to the equation we got before. So, the tasty bit. Exponential decay. Oh, <laughs> remind your students not to eat the M&Ms when you do the exponential growth, because there's a tendency for students to eat them. Uh, exponential decay, you start with a cup of M&Ms, either with however many they've got from the first exercise, or just a regular packet. Um, and you do the same thing, you shake the M&Ms, you pour it out onto a, onto a plate, count the number of M's that are showing, and you eat all those ones. Um, again, uh, as a little dis uh, of a disclaimer, if all of the M&Ms are actually showing M's, or if none of them are showing M's, ignore it and try again. We don't want it to get down to zero, because exponential decay doesn't get down to zero, uh, and we don't want them to not have decay of some sort. <coughs> so again, same thing, equation. This time looking at percentage decrease, and then using a depreciation formula to do by hand. The worksheet does guide your students through some discussion questions looking at, well, what are the intercepts representing? Uh, does the graph actually cross the horizontal axis? Why why not? What do you notice about the shapes? What is the value of k? And how can you tell whether it's growth or decay just by looking at it? That's it in terms of the exercise. Some extra reading if you're interested. One grain of rice by Denny. It's the classic rice on the chessboard story. If you haven't had a chance to read up on it, uh, I think there is a YouTube video of some lady reading this book in a very pretty voice, so you can check that out. <laughs> and Time Magazine, February 21, 2011 issue, talking about exponential growth of digital power. And thank you. <laughs>